Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. It's Coupons with Abby. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a terrific day. We're at Walmart to do some rebate shopping for this week, so if you're interested in seeing what we grab, just stick around. We have a lot of food deals, which I'm always trying to go for. Yeah, food deals. And I think a couple personal care items that I'm gonna to try to get. Uh, my midweek bonus is $5 for 18 offers on my account, and my husband's is a dollar for 10. So I'm going to be working on my account today and try to get all 18 offers so I can knock that out. I did go ahead and buy a gift card on Ibotta this morning, which is Pay With Ibotta. I'm sure y'all have heard about that. So I just bought a little $10 gift card, which I got five cents back in cash back for buying that. Plus it counts towards an offer for your bonuses. So I only need 17 offers now. Um, and that's just if I can get everything on my list. If I can't, then I'll probably do a couple more Pay With Ibottas. Bless you, bless you, goodness gracious. So I may do a couple more, but we'll see what happens in here. I just want to complete it. I think this will be my only time I hit Walmart this week. Last week we hit it twice, but this week is a busy, busy week. So I think we're only going to do everything now and see what happens. So um, I believe that is it. I think we're using all the rebate apps. If you are new to the rebate apps, I do have my referral links down in the description box so you guys can sign up with those and start earning money with me. Plus you get a little reward just for using my sign up link so you get additional cash back. So if you are new, welcome. I am super excited you found my channel and are here to watch me shop at Walmart today. Please be sure to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload as well as give the video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Uh, I was supposed to go to Walmart yesterday, honestly, on Monday, but the time change has the baby so messed up. You know, we're an hour back and he thought 4.30 was the wake up time. So I was already like groggy enough. He didn't go down for a nap until no joke noon. He was up from 4.30 to noon and I just, we were not in a good mood yesterday. Neither one of us. So we're hitting Walmart today, which it's okay, but also he has his flu shot at one o'clock. So we'll see how it goes, going to Walmart and then going back out to get his flu shot, so. We'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here and see what deals we can grab. First off, I went to the clearance area. Nothing was really catching my eye, except these Equate battery-powered toothbrushes. They were 99 cents, and me and my husband are big about the battery-powered toothbrushes in this house, and we don't get too many deals on it couponing, so I went ahead and grabbed one for me and one for him, and that will not be included in the final cost, but I thought that was an excellent find. I still had this freebie on my personal Ibotta account for the Evolve Protein Shakes. They are $7.84. I will pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for $7.98 back. Plus, I still have one more redemption on Fetch Rewards for $2.25 back, making this a $2.66 moneymaker. So this three pack of Tums is priced at $1.98. Ibotta is offering 50% back, which would be 99 cents. And it was kind of weird. It was under the free Thanksgiving offer. So I guess after you eat the turkey and you have a little heartburn, you can just pop in one of these bad boys. But also I wanted to test my luck on Shopkick because at the time of filming this, they were offering 400 purchase kicks back for buying any Tums product, which is equivalent to $1.60. Now this did not qualify for the scan kicks. So if you're wanting the scan kicks, I would scan a bigger product that's priced higher. But when I went to submit my receipt at the end of the video, you will see that it upped it to 500 kicks back, which is equivalent to $2. So if I get that $2 back plus the I bought a rebate, this would make this three pack a dollar and one cent money maker. So the Arm & Hammer Max Deodorant is $1.88 each. I'll purchase two at $3.76 out of pocket. Then we'll submit two swag bucks for $4 back when you purchase two, making both of them a $0.24 cent money maker. I was also hoping to purchase the Arid Antiperspirant today. They're priced at $1.36 each and swag bucks has an offer when you buy two, you'll also get $4 back and it would end up being a $1.28 money maker. My store was wiped. They only had the double pack. So I will leave that scenario in the printable list. So 
as I was scanning in store, I noticed that this Hungry Jack mashed potatoes deal got a lot better because then I bought a rebate popped up. So the 26 ounce box is $2.88. We do have $1 coupons from the 117 Smart Source, leaving us to pay $1.88. You can submit to checkout 51 for a dollar back and to Ibotta for 75 cents back, making this huge box of potatoes just 13 cents. I had to go ahead and grab more of the Purdue Harvest Land ground chicken this week because it's still a double dip, but they were stocking in the meat department, so I had to film over here, but they are $3.47. We do have a $1 printable coupon you can find on the Purdue website. I will say it does not scan at self-checkout or regular checkout, so if your cashiers will not push through coupons, this may not be a deal for you to use the coupon. It's still a good deal without the coupon, but if you use a coupon, you'll pay $2.47. You can submit to Ibotta for $1.25 back times two because it's two separate rebates attaching, making it completely free. Now, if your cashier will not push through that coupon, your cost would just be $0.97, cents, which is still really fantastic for the ground chicken. So last week, I grabbed the Lipton sweet tea and my husband informed me he'd rather have the Georgia peach. So luckily, I still have a decent rebate on my account for it. It is $1.98. I'll pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for a dollar back, making it 98 cents and a happy husband. I may be totally butchering this, but the Ani energy drink is priced at $1.98. I'll go ahead and pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for $2 back, making this a complete freebie. I also still have this offer on my Ibotta account for a free Rockstar Energy. I don't know why they are tagged on rollback for $1.35 at my store when they ring up for $1.50. So I'll pay the $1.50, submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back, making it free. I'm also going to grab another cottage cheese this week at $1.38. I'll pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, making it just 88 cents. I'm also going to grab another Oikos yogurt this week at $1.06, pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back, making it 33 cents. And we no longer have the coupons.com app coupon reimbursement anymore for the Oikos, so we do not have to worry about that this week. Good freebie is on the perfect bars this week. They are $1.98. We'll pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for $1.99 back, making it completely free. So we all know it's kind of hard to coupon baby wipes in general, but we have an offer on Ibotta for some Huggies baby wipes, which I'm super stoked for because that is the baby wipes we prefer. So I'm going to grab this pack at $1.90. I'll pay that out of pocket, submit to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back, making it just $1.40, and it's something we'd buy anyways. This Dove hand and face wipe deal just keeps resetting for me on Shopkick, so I'm going to keep doing it. We know the drill is $1.50, pay that out of pocket. Submit to Shopkicks for $1.60, making it free and a $0.10 cent money maker. But your girl remembered to scan in store today, so I got an additional 30 kicks, making it $1.72 back from Shopkicks. I'm also going to go ahead and grab the Drift Bottle Soap again this week at $4.97. Use one of the $1 hang tags I found last week to pay $3.97. Submit to Ibotta for $2 back, making it $1.97. We started using this and I actually kind of enjoy using it, so I'm definitely going to stock up. I also grabbed one of these all with Oxy detergent bottles at $2.97. I have a $1.25 printable coupon from coupons.com, leaving me to pay $1.72. I'll submit to Ibotta for $0.75 cents back, making it just $0.97. Cents. So the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner is $1.92. I'll pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back, making it $1.42. So I'm going to do a deal here where I'm trying to complete my Oscar Mayer bonus on Ibotta. So I'm going to go ahead and start by grabbing one of these Oscar Mayer turkey bacons at $3.28 and then an Oscar Mayer deli fresh deli meat at $3.88. So I have two 50 cent coupons from the 1024 smart source I'll use. So that would leave me to pay $6.16 for both products. I'm going to get a dollar back for purchasing the deli meat from Ibotta. 
a dollar back for the turkey bacon for my bada, and hit my 50 cent Oscar Mayer bonus, which makes it $3.66 for both products, or $1.83 each. The store had finally restocked the six ounce bags of the great value French fried onions, a part of the Thanksgiving freebies through Ibotta. So these are $1.90. I'll pay that out of pocket and submit to Ibotta for $2.28 back, making it a 38 cent moneymaker. So like I had mentioned in the car, I don't think I'll make it back to Walmart this week to do a second haul, but I'm very content with this haul for the week. Now, excluding the bananas and the canned vegetables and toothbrushes I found, this is everything we're grabbing. I just also had to grab a couple groceries for ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and do self-checkout. I'm going to divide the transactions up and do the Shopkick and Swagbucks deals on a separate receipt with my regular groceries and everything else on one receipt, also using the pay with I bought a feature, which is also known as gift right, cards. So we are home from Walmart and this is everything we managed to get this week at Walmart. Very happy with this haul as well. I'm trying to stock up on lots of meats because we know inflation is happening. We're living in it and the price of meats are insane. So Whatever I can do to try to get some meats in this house, that is the goal. And of course, any other food, anything really, just everything, the inflation is just getting crazy. So let me know if where you are at, you're seeing a lot of inflation as well, because here it's just like every day is something new. So I did two separate transactions. I did all of the Ibotta and like Fetch Rewards rebates and Checkout 51 on one receipt. And then I had to grab a couple other things while I was in there. So that's why I did the swag books and Shopkick deals on the separate receipt with my other groceries. So you guys will see that because um, it was a smaller receipt. So I figured swag books and Shopkicks would process it a lot faster. Now, one of my Oscar Mayer coupons did scam perfectly fine at checkout. I'm assuming because I got the either the lunch meat or the turkey bacon. I don't know which one it like attached to. I think I'll see it on the receipt. But then when I try to scan the second one, which there is no limit on it that I am seeing, it just would not go through. As well as that Purdue ground chicken coupon does not go through. But my cashiers are lovely and they will push it through. So you will see on the receipt, she just ended up taking $1.50 off. So the $1.50 coupon is just the $1 coupon for the Purdue and the 50 cent for the Oscar Mayer combined. So she came and pushed that through. Other than that, no other issues at checkout. We only used a handful of coupons today. It was pretty much all digital, so definitely newbie friendly as long as you have the rebate apps. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the receipt. I'll go ahead and show you guys my swag books and Shopkick receipt first since that is very smaller. So you guys do see they rang up correctly. Um, we have them at $1.88 each and then the wipes at $1.50 and everything else is just what I needed. So that was the two items I did on that receipt. Well, three items I did on that receipt. And then my main receipt was everything else. So we have the Huggies wipes, the cottage cheese, the Ani or the Annie. I don't know how to pronounce that energy drink, but I'm going to go with Ani. The Ani energy drink, the rock star. We have the perfect bar, the Oikos, the great value French fried onions. So glad I found those finally. The Lysol toilet bowl cleaner, the Lipton tea, the Evolve, the Tums, the All with the coupon, the Drift with the coupon. The Oscar Mayer bacon and then the deli meat. So it looks like the coupon attached to the deli meat, but the bacon is not attaching to for some reason, which it just says any Oscar Mayer product. So that's kind of funky. Then we have the, what was 347? Oh, the ground chicken and then the potatoes with the coupon. So the $1.50 coupon down here is the coupon for the ground chicken and the Oscar Mayer combined. So my stuff was $41.62. I did go ahead and use my $10 gift card I got from Ibotta, which was the pay with Ibotta feature. So I went ahead and just redeemed for $10, which I paid for that $10 gift card with my PayPal debit card. So that is just rebate money that I used to pay for a gift card and then refill that rebate money right back on my PayPal card. Now here's a weird thing, and I don't know if it'll be like this by the time I post the video, but it is not letting me cash out of Ibotta. It's not, even though my PayPal is linked, it is saying that they are not offering PayPal cash out at the moment, but it'll be back soon. It makes me uncomfortable to have more than like 
forty dollars in my PayPal, not my PayPal, in my Ibotta account because I've seen so many situations where people get locked out and lose their money, and that just stresses me out. So I always want to cash out when I hit forty. So that's what I was trying to do today, and it just. <laughs> It won't let me. It's telling me to buy a gift card. And I don't want to buy a gift card. I'd like it to go back to my PayPal card so I can keep replenishing it for other coupon hauls. But maybe by this evening, it'll be back working normal. But as of right now, it's just not letting me cash out. Another thing I want to note that I will put in the video, you know, when I'm sharing the deal, is the Tums right here. So I don't know if it'll work for the Shopkick rebate. The Shopkick rebate is... Any Tums back, you get 500 kicks, so that is $2. Now, it doesn't qualify for the scan kicks. I did try it in store, but I went ahead and submitted for 500 kicks for the purchase kicks, so I don't know if I'll get that. Of course, I will keep you guys updated in a pinned comment or on the community tab. So I'm assuming it might work, even though you don't get the scan kicks. We know how the shop kicks works, where most of the time there's no exclusions underneath the rebate. So it just said Tums and acid. I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll try our luck with it. But originally I thought it was 400 kicks when I was in the store that I was getting back, which was equivalent to a dollar 60. But then when I went to submit it upped it to 500 kicks. So that's $2. So who knows? So as far as rebates, we got back five cents with the pay with Ibotta feature for my $10 gift card. So I'll go ahead and add that in there as five cents. We got back $28.09 in just rebates alone right here on the table. I did get a 50 cent bonus for buying two participating Oscar Mayer products and I hit my $5 midweek bonus. From Checkout 51, we got back a dollar for the Hungry Jack. And then from Fetch Awards, $2.41 for the Evolve and several other products that are partnering brands with Fetch Awards, totaling $2.41. Swag Bucks, we got back $4.02 for the Arm & Hammer deodorant. Shopkick, we got back $1.72 for the Baby Dove Wipes for sure, which I did remember to scan my product in store today to get those additional 30 kicks. So between the buy and purchase kicks, it comes to $1.72. So y'all, give me a round of applause for getting up early to do this haul and scanning my products to shop kicks. That doesn't happen often. Um, now, like I mentioned with the Tums, we could be pending $2. We will see. That would make that little pack a nice little money maker. So out of pocket between both receipts subtotals, we spent $46.88 on everything here at the table. So that would leave our final cost if we do not get the $2 back for the Tums from Shop Kicks. The final cost comes to about $4.09 or $0.20 cents per item, which is honestly fantastic. For the meat products, for that $7 plant-based shake and like everything else. But if we do get back the $2 for purchasing the Tums on Shopkick, it would make the final cost $2.09 or $0.10 cents per item, which that's even better. I'm, I'm cool with under $5, honestly. So... This was just a fantastic haul. I love this haul. I love grocery hauls at Walmart. I think Walmart is like in the top two of my favorite places to coupon. CVS is like the all time. And then Walmart is just like top two. It's, it's right there. So that is it for me today. I will have the printable list down in the description box with a couple other deals that I was not able to do today because of low inventory. So if you guys want to check that out, that is in the description box in a Google document as well as the rebate apps I did use today so you guys can go ahead and start saving money along with me and I guess that is it for me I hope you guys have a terrific rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon bye